Rampart mechs incoming. This way. I hope you're not afraid of heights. Reports coming in. Additional time forces on the catwalks. Good on people down there. Target Alpha. Recognition. Actually, Arya, I'm Target Alpha. Lockdown system's been compromised so many times it hardly knows up from down anymore. Very Debate. Need an engineer at the catwalk's entrance. Door's jammed again. This may take a moment.
best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. Hurry up. I need to get to my people. Boss, it's good to see you, boss. We'll be evacuating this location as soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Don't let yourself be distracted by what-ifs. What I saw, I'll carry with me until the end of my days, Commander. But it won't keep me from fighting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. Thank you. Just reported into the boss. Still no adjutants. Thank the spirits for that. Do we even be bothering with this? There hasn't been any other since that dog book returned, right? Look, I know you're new to this outfit, but get used to the adjutant watch. There was only one of those things last time, and Cerberus still had to seal shut an entire ward to deal with it. They didn't even try to help the people trapped inside. I. I can't imagine what their last moments must have been like. Trust me, you hear any weird, creepy whispering, you grab your friends. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. 
You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. Open your eyes. This is a war of attrition and you're on the wrong side. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten. And you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega, my people, love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it.
talk, Shepard. The Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder, now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega's civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You handled Nyrene perfectly and got us an army. She wears her weakness on her chest. It would take more effort to stop myself from exploiting it. Let's hope she's up to the task. You and I will have to keep her on point. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Things are starting to heat up over here. We need to Urgently, bring you in fast. your attention, if you please. Tentative excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved. I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious, you seem familiar. I had a discount at your store the last time I was here. Enlightened, I see. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative. The General threw out Arya's couch from Afterlife. Upon taking over, I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously. Have a nice day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Provingly, welcome back, human. Tentative anticipation. I hope you are able to locate Arya Talok's couch for me. Courteously, please enjoy your shopping. Approvingly, welcome back, human. Tentative anticipation. I hope you are able to locate Arya Talok's couch for me. Courteously, please enjoy your shopping. Maybe I have denied an arm and a rod. Security override in effect. Arya wants to talk to you first. 
Maz just sent out a warning notice. We're heading out soon. Ah. I've blocked enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. Scouts are ready to go. Talk to me, Az. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Arya, my patrol caught her in the perimeter. Please. You didn't catch me. We're... allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyreen was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyreen. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. I can almost taste it, Shepard. Once we stop the leeching of the reactor, my path to the General will be clear. Well, aside from the thousands of troops standing between him and us. Details. We don't have time to waste. Is there something you want to talk about? Do you think Nyrene's over whatever happened between you? It was a long time ago. But Nyrene's the type that doesn't forget. I run roughshod over most people, and if the tracks I leave aren't deadly, they're at least permanent. As different as we are, I don't wish her ill. So long as she doesn't get in my way. What happens when we bring the force fields down? The people revolt, chaos ensues, and we lead the Talons and my forces on a wanton path right through the General's command center in afterlife. A bloodbath. It's true. When the force fields come down, all hell breaks loose. But as far as I'm concerned, all the blood's on Petrovsky's hands. Is your hatred for the General getting the best of you? I'd say it's bringing out the best in me. The man has turned Omega into a prison and a launch pad for Cerberus campaigns. You should hate him too. I for one can't wait to finally get my hands on him. I won't bother you with more questions. All right, when you're ready, I'll meet you and Nyrene at the exit by the med bay. Squad leaders are prepping their units. Ready to go in five. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. 
Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our Asari friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. I appreciate it, Nairene. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. Access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. Sure. dead. It's a bloodbath. I've got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be... Quiet! What's that sound? An adjutant. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. Elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. 
These pipes power the door. We should follow them. Adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. Down this ladder. There's the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirit! <laughs> Unload on it! Nardine, wake up! things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. The general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unluck. These soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't. And turned them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You're just. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If you'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we deal with it. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. Access to 
the reactor is somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. Like that goes under the conveyor belt. Bastards are running this place too hot. It'll burn out in a month. Stay focused.
our target. Expect heavy reinforcements. Just stay focused and find the access point to the reactor. I'm sure your dead workers feel much better now. The elevator to the reactor is across the way. Be careful, this place is falling apart. Strange. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for anything. Straight ahead. I commend you. Your plan of attack was impeccable. Looks like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war. For the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never! Ari, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this! Ari, don't! <laughs> Aria, you're forcing my hand. We'll do it your way, then. Nyrene, Max!
malfunctions and failure imminent. Can't do this, Commander. There's more at stake than you know. That reactor powers life support systems for dozens of wards across the station. Shut it down and thousands of people perish. You hearing this, Arya? Yes, and I don't care. Shut it down! Shepard, don't! Try rerouting power away from the force fields. Damn it. Hold tight down there. Rerouting the power to maintain the other systems. Shepard. She doesn't care who gets hurt. What are you waiting for? Oh, oh, the reactor. She'd just throw thousands of lives away. Shepard, Nareen's down. I'm stabilizing her. You can't reroute power in time. Hit the fucking overload. Now. This shouldn't be that hard. Maybe something inside is holding you back. Maybe deep down you're starting to think the galaxy might be better off without her. She's never going to learn. She'll never change. Even if you win, Omega loses. Enough! Battle stations, prepare for attack. Get the demolition crews into position.
You okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me, your soft heart almost cost me everything. Quiet, Arya. It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud her. When are you going to learn? There are no innocents on Omega. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyreen. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous. Getting reports. All force fields down. Civilians taking to the streets in droves. Cerberus pulling back. That won't last. The people don't have the training to go up against Cerberus front lines. They'll be wiped out. Civilian casualties can't be avoided. You'll have to accept this. Say what you will, Arya. I won't allow senseless deaths. The people are meant to distract Cerberus, not us. I know what to do, Commander. Report. My team is scouting the maintenance tunnels. We've encountered Cerberus forces escorting engineers. They're moving gear. Look to be sending explosives to the station's central support columns. Bray, engage. Delay them as long as you can. We're coming. Got it. Roll out, people. If they detonate the main column, they'll cut off the way to afterlife. The Talon offensive will be stopped cold. So we split up. Yes. Nyreen, lead the frontal assault. Shepard and I will meet you in the markets after we've taken care of those bombs. Of course. But don't count on me building your memorials if you get yourselves killed. Don't get ahead of yourself. The only route to the central column is through the tunnels.
extend the dam in the control room. That should get us across. Let's go. you wanted. Sending you the coordinates now. Is that my couch? central column before Cerberus sets off those bombs. messing with the support columns. We have to stop them. Over there! We can get to the bomb controls once the access panels are open. This way. Got it. Bombs just went live. The console is locked. We'll have to manually disable them. Take it. Pair up the bomb. Shepard, I'll handle server. are under control here. What's your situation? We're advancing through the Gozu district. Move forward. Keep that flank covered. Yes, boss. We're holding our own, but Cerberus has started targeting the civilians. 
Reports of casualties are coming in from all sectors. Just get to the rendezvous point. That's all that matters. Not in my world. Nyrene out. So how exactly do we get to afterlife from here? I'm thinking the straightforward approach for a change. off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. Idiots were experimenting on adjutants. With the before host with the current success rate. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. Doors unlocked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district.
Irene, Arya and I are entering the Gozu district. Understood. Talon Scout hadn't found us earlier, we'd be dead. What's going to happen to us? On my station, of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyreen? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife. Don't let the fall. Ah! Can't keep this up much longer.
it. Tell your boss I'm coming for you. Petrovsky dies. Now. Nyrene Kandros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man! No, wait! What now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Kandros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. are fully under our control. The prototypes for our future army. and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, 
I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. But I'll let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Oh, Inexplicably. Oh. I think he'd agree now that it was the biggest mistake of his life. But this is murder. That's right. Arya, maybe we should think about this. Hell no. Don't go soft on me now, Shepard. Oh no. This won't be a problem. I mean it. Stand down. You've won. It's over. Have you lost your mind? Get out of my way! No. The Alliance can use what he knows about the elusive man's plans. He has to pay for what he's done. He'll get what's coming, but not today and not by your hand. Ugh. Thank you, Commander. I'm not doing this for you. Get him out of here. This partnership has been an exercise in frustration. We won. Yes, I know. But I like to know what makes people tick. Especially someone I might need something from in the future. So come clean. Have you been trying to work me? Validating me one minute, judging me the next? Which is it, really? Have I been that hard to read? I've lived for a thousand years, Shepard, and you may be the most powerful and baffling being I've ever encountered. I have no idea where I stand with you. I don't like your leadership style. Eventually, using people will blow up in your face. Millions are suffering here, and many pay the ultimate price. I hope you'll honor them. Freedom isn't enough? Tell you what. I'll write myself a memo. And don't worry, I honor my debts. You'll have all the troops, ships, and Izo that I promised. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... ...and we will cast them from our home. Then bury and mourn our dead. My methods haven't always been popular, and I can't promise that will change. But securing this station and everyone inside it is now my primary purpose. No one will imprison us again. We may be bruised. We may be bloodied. But we are Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. Commander, Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Commander?
Commander. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. You've got new messages, Commander. Hey, Shepard. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline something zero. Sorry, but it's ma'am to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I respect and admire. I'm lucky to have you with me, Doctor. And to you. It's my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Take care, Commander. Take care, take care, take care. Take How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? Greetings, Commander. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard.
Your Asari continues to question me. I'm beginning to wish her kind had never learned to talk. Many are asking what I eat. They will never know. It is harder to be poisoned that way. Is it true you keep fish in your cabin, Commander? Commander. Command, Commander, Command, Commander, Command, 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 Good to see you, Commander. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Good to see you, Commander. Hey there. 